Hello and welcome to the Fix-It Shed. If you like to save money by doing things yourself, be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss anything. So as you can see, we're in the bathroom. So the toilet has a problem with the fill valve. So the valve itself doesn't seem to shut off uh, properly. It goes down to a very small trickle but continues to fill. So as you can see, it has filled up above the float so the valve is not shutting off. So the valve also tends to um, whistle or screech when it's uh, when it's filling up. You can take these apart and clean them, but uh, I picked up a, a Fluid Master replacement valve and it was $8, so I'm just going to replace it. So the valve that I bought was the Fluid Master 400A, uh, not a sponsor, but let's check out what's in the box. Inside the box, you should find the fill valve assembly, the refill tube, a packet containing the refill clip and lock nut, and the instructions. First we want to turn off the water. And we're going to flush to empty the tank. And we're going to hold it open so as much of the water goes down as we can. Okay, now the rest of it we're going to have to sponge out. Now we want to disconnect the water supply line. Okay, so I'm going to loosen this nut a little bit too, so that I can uh, move that connector a little bit. Loosen the supply line. And you're going to want to have a bucket or a towel underneath to catch some of the water that drips out. Okay, and then we're going to remove this nut. And the rest of the water is going to drain out of the tank. Now we can remove the old valve. So this part needs to be about three inches above the overflow pipe. And this one was. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to measure from here. It is about 10 and 3 quarter inches. So I'm just going to make sure that this is about the same. So this needs to be a little bit bigger. So you just unscrew this. A little bit. Let's see. And now that's 10 and 3 quarters. So these should be just about the same. When I put when I install that into the tank, this is the refill port. So we're going to attach this hose to the refill port like that. Now we're going to install this back into the tank, and then this hose fits in here. So this is different because this is a Kohler flush valve. Uh, other flush valves just have a pipe here, and then you would use this clip in into the pipe like this. So we're just going to use this hose as it is in the Kohler flush valve. Okay, I'm not going to... Yeah, this has to get threaded because of the edge of the toilet. This has to get threaded above that. So, And then I'm not going to tighten it down because I need to be able to get the supply line on too. Okay. There you go. Attach the supply line. You could put some of the plumbers, that white plumbers tape on the threads, but I've never found it to be necessary for this. And 
Now I can tighten this down. Turn the water back on. All right, and you want to check for leaks. Everything feels nice and dry. The water level needs to be about a half an inch below the overflow edge. And it looks like it is just about a half an inch, so I'm going to leave it alone. If you needed to raise or lower the water level, you could turn this knob and that would adjust the level of the water. So then you just want to flush it, make sure everything works as it should, make sure the water returns to the proper level, make sure there aren't any leaks. So if you got something out of this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Take care.